It is a distinct possibility that every bank that slaps Visa or MasterCard on its credit cards is watching and waiting on the outcome of a child porn lawsuit. The lawyers representing Serena Flitus, who alleges MindGeek, that's the parent of porn website Pornhub, knowingly posted a video of her that was taken when she was underage. They posted it without consent. And they have already won at least one round in their suit. The suit charges that credit card giant Visa was complicit in MindGeek's content distribution because Visa cards were authorized to pay for third-party advertising on the pornographic site. July 29th, the California judge in the case denied Visa's motion to be dismissed from the lawsuit. Last Thursday, Visa and MasterCard announced they were abandoning payments for ad purchases on Pornhub or any of MindGeek's many sites, which include names like YouPorn and Brazzer. But how much further could this suit go when it comes to holding corporations responsible for partnering with sites like these? Joining me now in studio in a Fox Business exclusive, the lead lawyer representing plaintiff Serena Flitus, Brown Rudnick partner Lauren Tabaxblatt. For the record, my team did reach out to Visa for comment ahead of this interview. They have yet to respond. They are always welcome. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to certainly make that clear. Lauren, uh, U.S. District Court Judge Cormac Carney issued a very blunt decision regarding Visa. And in essence, he said, it is simple. Visa made the decision to recognize MindGeek as a merchant, despite allegedly knowing that the company monetized porn. What was the first thought you had when you at least won that first round and Visa couldn't get its name taken off this suit? Well, when we read the decision, we were very pleased that Judge Carney got to the right result. Uh, as the, our complaint was the product of a year-long investigation, it's a 170-page detailed complaint that clearly details not only that MindGeek has videos of child pornography, rape, assault, and other exploitation victims on its site, but that its business model was specifically predicated on that, that they amplified these videos, that they directed users towards these videos, and that they monetize these videos through ads, which Visa, among others, provided payment for. And so um, the complaint alleges in, in, in extreme detail all of this misconduct, but more importantly, it also alleges Visa's uh, involvement and participation. Visa knew, as the judge held, and Visa, there's no question that Visa not only knew about MindGeek's business model, it also intended to, it intended to assist MindGeek with monetizing child pornography and other illegal content. And as the judge specifically held, and we believe this is correct, it provided the tool for MindGeek to ultimately commit and complete that crime. Well, I mean, how can you not know when Nick Kristof of the New York Times two years ago made a huge deal of this? PayPal immediately stopped any type of relationship or usage of what they do as it pertained to MindGeek. So just be, if you could clarify, why wasn't MasterCard or say, for example, Amex listed in this lawsuit? So, so you're correct, there has been there's been a tremendous number of journalist reports um, and horrific stories of abuse that have been out there in the public and that Visa knew about it. Um, and as you just alluded to, PayPal terminated its services with, with MindGeek in 2019 uh, in response to a London Times article that said within minutes they found dozens of examples of illegal content on their site, including examples of children as young as three years old. Oh, um, PayPal took that step. MasterCard and Visa did not. Uh, thereafter, there were numerous other disclosures to MasterCard, Visa, and Discover. Uh, in December 2020, when Nick Kristof came out with a follow-up piece to the 2019 Sunday Times, uh, Visa and MasterCard temporarily suspended services, and MasterCard looked like it was going to take more steps, mm -hmm. uh, and so we targeted Visa in the suit. Ultimately, MasterCard did retract on those steps, and so we fully intend to pursue claims against MasterCard and Discover. Uh, in addition to, our, to the case that's currently pending, we've been approached by numerous other victims. Uh, we have close to a dozen clients at this point, and we fully intend to hold Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and all of those that are benefiting so, and facilitating child pornography Okay, so that's a headline. Uh, MasterCard and Discover are not in the clear at this point. Again, Amex, do they just not take Amex on that site? I don't believe Amex provides okay. payment services. Okay, to my all right, account. so Amex might very well be in the clear. How far could this suit go? And maybe not this particular suit, but you're looking everywhere, and the tentacles of this pornography hub, which has a lot of legitimate 
legal pornography, correct? Correct. But does have this child porn on it. It's really, you know, they, I mean, the articles just really, they did great investigative work at the Times and, and uh, some other operations. But do you see this going to, say, for example, the servers? Because the servers upon which these websites operate, even though it's a Canadian company, MindGeek, some of their servers are here, right? Their data centers. Would you go after those companies? Correct. So the trafficking statute under which we brought claims, among other statutes, extends to all those who benefit from participation in a venture. And so our goal here is is both to get vindication for our clients, but more importantly, to create change, to create new industry standards so that what happened to our clients doesn't happen to others. Uh, and our goal here is to go after all of those that participate in this venture and to make sure that this doesn't happen again. This case is not about consensual legal pornography. This case is about illegal content, the exploitation of minors, the exploitation of rape and assault victims, and we will not stop until we have uh, feel like we've we've achieved adequate change and made sure that none of that exists on this site so, anymore. So, I mean, data miners, you've got third-party sites that look at this treasure trove of data that Pornhub has. I mean, they have billions of user transactions uh, just every year. It's unbelievable. In fact, over just three months, billions. So, would you go after the data miners who purchase this for, uh, you know, maybe a client list so that they can then sell apparel or toys, sex toys, whatever? So again, our, our objective here is really focused on eradicating illegal content, and we will use all the tools in our toolbox in order to do so. As the judge made clear, and as we saw from the steps that Visa and MasterCard took both after the Nick Kristoff article came out in December, resulting in MindGeek taking down more than 10 million videos, and then the steps that Mind, uh, MasterCard and Visa took just last week in response to this landmark decision, we think the credit card companies are in a unique position to create the change that we need here, but um, we will certainly be going after all of those that are responsible for facilitating this illegal conduct. We would love for you to come back uh, as this case progresses. Lauren, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Lauren, you for taking the time to, to cover slide. this important case. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And it's got huge, obviously, personal and business implications. Thank, thank you so you. much.